Hey everybody, it's uh, Brett here from Wake and Vape. Um, just wanted to give a follow up on the uh, the Kanger Pro Tank Three. Um, after three or four days of using it, uh, I'm highly disappointed, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly why right now. Um, so what we have here is Kanger Pro Tank Three, Kanger Pro Tank One original. Um, I'm gonna vape it. On my X6 at 4.8, um, we're going to do the Kanger Pro Tank 3 first. And I'm going to show you how disappointing this vapor production is. Now, here we go. Did you see anything? It's not just the light. There wasn't any vape. Maybe a little bit. Now, Pro Tank 1, same setup. Same draw. Uh, yeah, huge difference. Um, it's probably the coil because the Kanger Pro Tank 3 is a dual coil and the Kanger Pro Tank 1 is single coil. Uh, they're both 2.5 ohms. That's the only thing I can think of because it's ridiculously different. I mean, it's terrible. I'm not happy with the Pro Tank 3 at all. Not to mention this super loose drip tip here that I barely have to tug on. And it comes right out. Very irritating. Um, I'll show you one more time. One more time. Maybe I'll push it this way because of the light. How about in front of me? Oh, got a little bit. A little bit there. One more time. Pro Tank 1. 4.8 volts, 2.5 ohms. Yeah. Good vape but not from the Pro Tank 3. Um, that's my follow-up. Pro Tank 3, um, if you have any suggestions on how to get this thing vaping right, please leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know a trick. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I know a mod sucks, if you can even call it a mod. Variable voltage. It's cheap, fast tech. But it's been doing me well. Um, so I don't think that this is the issue. But I'm going to try the Pro Tank 3 on some new mods later on um, and then I'll give a follow-up to that but that's where I'm at now so thanks for watching take it easy